Good morning, Grand Dukes Grizzlies. I'm Ethan. And I'm Maddie. And welcome to Go TV. Thank you for joining us for Growl News. Please stand and join us for the U.S. Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge, pledge allegiance to, to the flag of, of the United States, States of America and, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, nation under God, indivisible, indivisible with, with liberty and, and justice for all. And now for the Texas Pledge. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state under God, one and indivisible. Here at Growl News, we hope you've had an amazing week. Today, we're jumping right in. We had a couple of our team members film a video to remind you what Growl stands for. Let's check it out. Hi, my name is Christian Valdez, and this is what Growl stands for. G stands for growth. R is for respect. O stands for ownership. W stands for work ethic. L stands for leadership. Wow, thank you, for, thank you guys for reminding us what growl means. Last week, our team interviewed Mr. Bowerly at our theater department. Let's see, let's listen to what he has to say. Hi guys, my name is Mr. B. I'm the technical director here at Grand Oaks High School and I'll be talking to you today about some things that are going to be going on in the theater department this semester and next semester. This year. So this year we have three main productions that we're going to be doing. The first one is Peter and the Starcatcher. That will be happening in November, November 14th, 15th, and 16th at 7 p.m. Then also on the 16th at 2 p.m. Uh, that is essentially the prequel to Peter Pan. So in it we discover you know, how Peter got his name, how he got this magic, and, and what it just exactly is Neverland. And then we're going to be going into The Tempest, which actually is before Peter and the Starcatcher on November 1st and 2nd. That is our Theater 2 class play, and it's of course written by the famous William Shakespeare. But trust me, it's not going to be boring. It's going to be really cool. It has a lot of elements of magic and monsters and fairies, and everyone's going to have a good time. And that is in our black box space, so it's going to be a more intimate experience for the actors and for the audience. And then finally, we have our competition one-act play piece, Clue, that we will be performing February 27th, 28th, and 29th, because it is a leap year. And that is gonna be at 7 p.m. as well, and that is our competition piece, and hopefully we're gonna take all the way to state. Probably the most exciting for me is Peter and the Starcatcher. I think it's because it has a whole lot of moving parts and elements that we're gonna have to plan for, and me, myself, as a technical director, uh, it has some interesting challenges as far as how do we create an environment without building an environment, and how do I instruct kids on how to establish an environment without literally building the space around them and using props and ropes and different things to create the environment in which the characters live. Right. Thank you for watching and I hope you come see all of our shows. Thank you Mr. Bowley. You guys are doing a fantastic job and we can't wait to see this year's performance of The Tempest and Peter and the Starcatcher. And lastly, Mrs. Walker gave us an inside scoop on the library. Let's check out what she has to say. Hello Grand Oaks. This is the school library. Let's take a tour. Don't vandalize our library. It is our one and only library. In front of the school library, you can see a colored flag. Every other day, it switches between orange and blue. The color represents what day it is. Thank you for your time, Mrs. Walker. You and your library are truly great. Here are the dates for a few upcoming football games. On September 30th, JV and freshmen will be playing at Pasadena, Pasadena Memorial 4.30 and 6. On the 31st, Varsity will be playing Pasadena Memorial at Wood Forest Stadium at 7 p.m. Well, that wraps up our news for this week. Thank you for watching GoTV. And remember, it's, it's always, always a great day to be a Grizzly. Day.